Hi YouTube, Mr. Dodo8449 here. Today we are going to be making the main bridge for the layout, um, the one which hasn't fallen down. So uh, is what I've done already is I've traced the outline of the track. Um, as you can see, it's a very slight curve to it. I then put some tracing, well, it's actually baking paper at the top of it. This will hopefully help me peel it off from any glue that sticks on it and so on. So I'm going to be using matchsticks and super glue for this as I think the super glue will be a lot quicker drying than the, um, let's open this actually, a lot quicker drying than the wood glue which I've been using previously. That just took so long to dry that basically by the end of it I, I was giving up because it was taking so long. So super glue we're going to try. Here's the layout we're going to work on. It's going to be a metal bridge. Um, during the time the layout's based on kind of brick and stone bridges have kind of come to the end of their um, the time they were being used. It's moving on to um, wood and metal bridges. Don't like wood bridges. I don't think. Well, I do like them, but I don't think it will suit the layout too well. So we're going to be using uh, matchsticks to produce a metal bridge. Now I've already done one half, one side of it. This is the base of it. It sits on something like that. And now it's time to replicate that on the other side. Um, I'm just gonna get a move on with this video. I'm not gonna worry too much about um, talking over it. You should hopefully get an idea of what I'm doing. So let's get going. Alright then, you've seen me do an awful lot of work on the bridge, I haven't really spoken much, so I'll just update you on what's happening progress wise. So I've created the um, foot to the bridge, as you can see the base of it, tested it and it fits in the layout, which I'm quite pleased about to be honest. Um, so that's all ready to go, just need painting. I've also been creating the sides, now like you haven't seen them like this, but I've um, cut out the various holes to give it a bit of detail in there. Um, and then the plan is to add a second support like this somewhere in the gap and put some meshing or some form behind it. Hopefully that will look quite good then. Um, and then uh, when I eventually attach it onto the side of the bridge like such, 
I'll then be adding more detail on the inside to kind of remove this flat edge. So hopefully that should look quite good when I manage to get uh, around to doing that. Um, so this is obviously a metal bridge, so I'm going to be painting it um, just a plain, simple grey colour to start with. And then when I get round to it, I'll be adding a lot more detail and so on to it. So I'm looking forward to that, which should be quite good. Um, it's gone well so far, just using stick of glue and so on. Um, I think it's looking quite good actually, when the sides are on it. I'll just hold this one on briefly. And this is all back to front to you, but I will... <laughs> this isn't going to work too well. There we go. I mean, it will look something like that when it's done. Right, so I better carry on then. <laughs> 